Hello everyone, Philopater here, and welcome to another exciting episode of Total War Rome 2. In this battle, I will be playing as the army of Pontus, and I will be trying a more elite pike corps, hoping to beat my opponent, who is playing as Rome. Let's get it started. So as I said, the core of my army is three bronze shield pikemen. Now in the last video, I brought you an Egyptian army with some weak pikemen. Uh, bronze shields may be the best pikemen in the game, I don't think there's any consensus as pikemen overall are really, really bad. Uh, but as far as bang for your buck goes, bronze shields are pretty good. Supporting my pikemen core, I have four Pontic Peltists, I have three Mercenary Naked Swords, I have two Pontic Swordsmen, one on each flank, I have my General and a Pontic Royal Cavalry, and then I have on each flank a Cappadocian and a Citizen Cavalry. Meanwhile, over here already skirmishing are three mercenary Scythian horse archers. Now my opponent, whose name is Poltergeist, has brought a fairly infantry-heavy build. He has three Triarii, four Legionnaires, four veteran Legionnaires, at least I think it's four. Oh, it may all be only be three of each. My mistake. He has one Auxiliary Balearic Slinger, a General and Bodyguard, and then three Praetorian Cavalry, which I think are trying to head for these woods to flank me. And I see this and think, oh, this is too easy. I can chase them with my Scythian horse archers, I can turn heavy shot on, and just take pot shots at the Praetorian Cav all the way to the end of the line. Now, of course, I've, they've only killed three Praetorian Cavs, but once the HP on this unit starts to wear off, you're going to see them drop very, very quickly. And while this is happening, our two armies are simply squaring up. My left flank cavalry has been revealed, and so any minute now I'm going to get a charge in. There it is. Uh-oh. Surprise, suckers! And there they are, these Praetorians are already down to half strength. Uh, they're going to be killed off pretty quickly. The rest of our armies are still moving into position. I have this unit of Pontic Swordsmen squaring up against these Triarii. These Pontic Swordsmen will easily be able to take that engagement. Look at them, they are all ready to go. And now I have my Peltists moving forward to engage his infantry. There we are. Charge from my Pontic Swordsmen. It's gonna go pretty well for them. And now my opponent is moving his infantry up to engage my main infantry line. And obviously, this is not what you want to do. You do not want to be engaging pikes from the front. So, shame, shame on you, opponent. Uh, I, I don't actually mean any shame. And this is the problem with the pike army, is it works really well from the front. But say, even here, where my pikes are just a little bit off-center, uh, this flank could have easily collapsed and my pikemen been destroyed. A much better opponent is going to take a lot of time, or excuse me, take his time flanking around and getting my pikemen from the rear, and then it's simply, you know, lights out for me. Uh, let's see. I've used a citizen cavalry for my right flank to reinforce my left, and also sent in my general, and these Praetorians are going to die. I think they have, what, nine kills? And now I'm bringing my Scythian horse archers in to take up a position here and shoot at his men from the side. In the meantime, this unit of Cappadocian Cav is going to get a charge off on his general. And I'm going to give you a quick spoiler alert. My opponent will actually surrender. At least, I'm hoping he surrendered. He may have dropped. I hope he didn't, because that would be horribly dishonorable. But... I see a nice line of Roman dead with almost no dead bronze shield. And yeah, another 10 seconds, and then let's watch from this side. There we are. It's a much better angle. It's all about lighting. It's all about the little things. And there it is. My opponent surrenders. And so, as I mentioned with my Egyptian army, it's not that there is one particular unit that's going to just tank his way through the enemy or just knock the enemy to the side and kill all of them immediately. All the parts of this army have to work together. 
The pikes have to keep a nice unified line and pike their way forward. The peltists have to be pelting. The swordsmen have to be swordsmen. The naked warriors, they have to be running around naked, I, I suppose. Uh, and in the end, working together, this army can accomplish wonderful things. Granted, if my opponent hadn't attacked from the front, this would be an entirely different story, and I would be recording a video of how pike units are horrible and you should never use them. And of course, any particularly good opponent is going to know how to beat a pike core army. But again, I'm not willing to give up on pike armies. I'm going to continue to use these in the future. Uh, I hope to bring you more videos with some excellent pike action, and I will see you in the next one.